So here, we're, we're here today to really deliver uh, our next generation of droid lines. And each one of these phones offer a consumer a unique experience, or more importantly, performance that matters. So what we're going to do is actually each one of these uh, definitive uh, characteristics that define a droid phone than any other smartphone out there in the marketplace. Uh, one of these is with the design. So as you guys can see, each one of these uh, droid line of products features a very unique Kevlar uh, finish. We do offer Corning Gorilla Glass, and in particular, uh, a high sports car-like finish that really gives it that true authentic look and feel. Uh, when we talk about the uh, share aspect of it, we look at it as far as sharing in ways that consumers never have experienced before. And uh, when we stay connected through all of these uh, droid lines, uh, it's again, whether you're connected to a TV, a PC, uh, you really have the unique way of you know using the power of your voice to control your phone. And also, as you're seeing right there on the Droid Max, which is right here, the uh, active display technologies. So right now, what we're going to talk about again is a little bit more on the hardware side. So on the screen, we feature a 5-inch Super AMOLED HD screen uh, that's again wrapped in Kevlar. Uh, each one of these phones offer a 1280 by 720 resolution that really gives the consumer uh, that experience that they want with uh, experiencing HD content or even looking at photos or videos uh, on their own. On the Mini, we offer a super compact design but does not compromise on power and performance with a 4.3 inch screen that also is 720p uh, progressive. So a couple of unique things. We really give consumers the ability to interact with their phone without even having to touch it. So by simply opting in, it's, the phone is listening for my verbal cue. And as you can see right now, I'm going to simply say this command, and you'll see the phone respond to my voice without me touching it. So we're going to focus on the Droid Ultra right here in the middle. And I'm simply going to say, OK, Google now, open mobile hotspot. And what you're going to see right now is something that we're going to have to obviously retry. So let's take a look at this again. And we're going to try, OK, Google now. Okay, Google now. What's the weather like in New York City? And with all this ambient noise, you're still going to find out that, again, it recognizes my voice without interacting with it. So we give the consumer to use the power of their voice, all the best capabilities of utilizing Google Now to interact with their phone hands-free. Another great feature that we offer here is this widget, which is referring to as our Droid Command Center. With our Droid Command Center, we give the consumer the ability to share photos via our Droids app application and connect wirely display to a Miracast-enabled TV. To simply expand this, because consumers would like to know a little bit more intuitive information, we can simply just add cities to your web or go into this far right widget to flip over and access battery or settings on the phone. Simply collapse and now you have more home screen to use. When we talk about the sharing, if I wanted to, I could very easily launch a really great feature. So that pocket to picture time is now one of the fastest in the industry. So with the phone off, all I have to do is just do a quick gesture where if I turn this phone like this, you're going to see that it immediately launches the camera application. Now again, with such a large screen size, you're going to still say, okay, I still have one-handed use and pocket ability. So if I want to, I could very easily take a picture by any touching anywhere on the screen. So if I were to tap up here, you notice that the camera UI is very clean. Touch down there, takes another photo. If I wanted to, I could go into my settings by simply swiping left. If I wanted to get back into my gallery, just simply swipe to the right. And if I wanted to, I could zoom in very easily by just pressing and zooming in by scrolling up, zoom out by scrolling down. Now, with again all the share aspects of this, we can very easily go back into my gallery and I can share this uh, content that I've just captured with our Zap application. So simply by utilizing a two-finger gesture, just simply go to your gallery on any picture, swipe two fingers up, and you'll see that I'm now zapping up with a security code, or if I wanted to, I could actually share this publicly with anybody that has another Droid device, or I could send the Droid Zap application to an Android device that features 2.2 Froyo or later, they can download the application and receive any files that are stored in the cloud. After I get done, you can see right there that I've, to, to, to search around or to, to zap down, a photo, all I have to do is two fingers swipe down and now Zap is looking for it and to notice that it found something. I have to then enter in the code that would allow me to retrieve that information that is password or if you would code protected. But some of that could be um, not code protected is right. Absolutely. So Depending if I wanted to, you can see right there, there's some photos right now that it's catching that other people uh, in the room have been uh, zapping up and you can see that I can catch the photo just by easily doing that. So to get back to it, uh, another one that we feature is active uh, display. And again, and it's all about the consumer having the ability to know, uh, you know, what uh, they're constantly checking their phone for either the time of day or to see if they have any notifications.
notifications come in. So with this active display, it pushes subtle notifications to your screen. That's very battery efficient, and it lets me know if I wanted to, I could simply just look at the phone, and if I were to have a notification, it would give me which notification I have. Now, all I have to do is whenever my phone again breathes, I just simply touch right here, and I can very easily go into the application itself or the notification, and either ignore it by wiping away, or go to it by responding to it and just sliding my finger up. And that will just flash, just like a notification light. If you have a notification, it'll continually so flash as we found every it, few seconds. Absolutely. And as we found in the industry, most consumers, when they look at that green light that's flashing, right that really means nothing to them. But with uh, the active display, you know uh, which notifications are you, know, you, you can immediately go respond to or ignore. Uh, and again, it's very battery efficient. So that's one of the main uh, consumer points that we wanted to really drive, is to have a consumer experience that they know which notifications are coming in, but also driving that performance that matters for it with conserving battery. And you can do any app that you download that has notifications, you can add it to this. That is true. So actually, when you opt into this notification, you can actually go through and select manually check or uncheck notifications you would like to receive, and that notification would become a, an icon on your screen. Fantastic. Now, these are going to be available um, August 20th for these two here. So for the Ultra and the Max, the availability is going to be August 20th. $199 and $299. $199 and $299. Mini is going to be available uh, August 29th. Uh, for 99 and again when we look at the uh, more specs on here we've got uh, on, on the mini a uh, 4.3 inch HD screen that's going to feature 16 gigs of internal memory the ultra comes in at a 5 inch HD screen that's going to offer 16 gigs of internal memory the max comes in at a 5 inch HD screen featuring 32 gigs of internal memory and again all of these have the capabilities to this uh, with the design share and connecting we're bringing innovation to consumers with performance that matters and that real, real users can use in their everyday life. The battery, 24 hours, 48. The battery performance, again, on the Droid Mini, we're looking at a 2,000 milliamp battery and a 2,130 milliamp battery on the Ultra. Both are going to give an outstanding 24 hours of, of mixed usage. And for the Max, we're looking at a 3,500 milliamp battery that's going to deliver on that 48 hours of usage. And, we, and you have the uh, Motorola X8 processor in them as well, right? So, not, so the, uh, the X8 mobile computing system consists of eight different core processors that really have to do with uh, two core processors that uh, drive the phone for application use. We've got four processors for our graphics processing, and then we've got two unique processors that do contextual messaging and that uh, are active listening. Fantastic. And it's a dual core 1.7 gigahertz, I think you were saying, right? It is a dual core phone. Each one of these is a dual core phone. And as you go through the lineup, each one of these share the same experiences as far as design, uh, connect, as well as share.